so as you guys can tell by the title of this video, uh, we actually kind of saved a guy on a jet ski. Um, it wasn't planned. Um, basically, we were out fishing and we were going to a different spot and we saw Buddy out in the middle of the lake and he flagged us down so we went over there and see what he needed or what he wanted and uh, he needed some help so we gave him some help and anyway, that'll be probably more towards the middle of the video actually because uh, we're going to go fishing and we caught a few fish before so I'll put those clips in and then we'll go to the jet ski and then we'll go back to fishing and uh, that's basically it. So uh, let's get right into this video. How's it going guys, Sam from Vindeck here. Today we're gonna be going fishing. We're gonna be using this big swim bait. I actually got this from Carl's. Um, if you guys don't know what Carl's is, it is an online fishing store where you can get the cheapest and best baits. Um, that's where I usually get all my lures from. It's great prices and uh, the best lures I can possibly find. So that's where I've been shopping for the most of the time now. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can see uh, what it's all about and you guys should definitely give it a try because that is where I get the best prices and the best lures at. We're gonna go fishing. I don't really know where we're gonna catch it. It's a beautiful day out here in South Dakota. Um, I actually came back for the weekend. Flair is down in Texas doing Guggen Week stuff. So I have the weekend off and I'm up here. John's in Minnesota filming Minnesota stuff. So hopefully we can get some walleyes or possibly some white bass, smallmouth. I don't really know, but I'm just hoping we can get on some fish for you guys. I'm gonna go meet up with my good friend Isaac. Uh, you guys know him pretty well. He's been in a couple videos lately. So uh, we're gonna go meet up with him and then we're gonna go out on his boat and see if we can't catch any fish. So we made it out here to this lake. Uh, we're gonna fish. Wind died down actually quite a bit, so we can kind of go anywhere we want on this lake, I feel like, today. And uh, we should be all right. We got Aachen. Aachen, say hi. I don't know if what he did. But anyway, we are fishing this lake. Um, hopefully, the bite should be decent. I don't really know. I haven't fished in a long time because I was down in Omaha. Aachen hasn't been out because of work. So it's our both first times out in a while, actually. So we're going to see how it goes. Perfect little wind chop. Stopped at a gas station. He got worms. I uh, forgot to film. But we did get worms, so we might be throwing a little bit of live bait today. I'm not really sure. Uh, we're just going to be doing a lot of things. We're going to be trying a lot of things. I don't know. So uh, we're going to load everything in the boat, and uh, I'll see you guys on the water. Hi, guys. We made it out here to the first spot. Um, you know what? Swim bait? Actually, we'll throw the swim bait first. Why not? We'll, we'll test our luck with this swim bait. You guys haven't seen it, but uh, this is it. Pretty juicy looking. I think it might... Oh, well. Hooks are sharp, so that's a good thing. Um, this thing looks pretty hot in the water, not gonna lie. We're just gonna whip her out there. We're fishing this little uh, current line here from another lake, it's a little inlet. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see how this works. Yeah, I have really no idea what I'm doing. We're just gonna <laughs> give this a whirl. You on? Yeah. Oh, dude, I got one. Okay, there must be one gap. Dude, this one slammed it. White bass? Bad <laughs> boys. She's nice. Oh, dude, mine's a tanker. Shoo! Okay. Ah, god dang. Okay. Not expecting that. Ow, 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 ow. Boys, look at this tank of a white bass. Criminy. All right, let's get this bad boy unhooked. Um, as you guys can tell, you kind of bucked that swim bait. I was just holding it. I was casted it. Jerked it once and then I let it sit there and then Buddy just absolutely whammed it. I mean, wow, I was okay. I was not expecting that, but I mean, I'll take her, eh? I'm gonna, look at that, boys. On this freaking swim bait, I was not expecting that at all. It happened right away, but we doubled up. Boom, white bass in the water, kerplunk. Boom, baby, give me that. Oh, uh, okay, bet. Lock another one, honestly. Yeah, mine slammed it so hard, dude. I, wasn't even, I was just singing like this and I felt my rod just go zoink. I was like, oh, that's a fish. Alrighty, guys. So I've gotten a few casts without catching anything on that swim bait. And uh, I just kind of want to figure out where these fish are so I can cast that swim bait exactly where they are. Because these fish like to school up. So I just got this uh, clown tiger mimic on. The water's kind of stained. So I'm just going to be whipping this around. This is a good searching bait. You can work it pretty fast. And uh, you can work it all, all depths of the water column. You can catch just about anything on them. So we're just going to whip this around for a little bit. See if we can't find where these fish are at. And then we'll go back to the swim bait. There's one. They're up in there, dude. Oh, a, they're like all the way up in yeah, there? they're all the way up in there. It's not a bad one, dude. Net? No, he's not net worthy, but it's a decent fish. I'll give him that. He's not monstrous, but I mean, I'll take him. Another white bass, I think. Fighting like it. Ooh, Walter. I don't know. I'm dying. I'm blind. Holy criminy. 
Holy criminy. Holy criminy, boys. Okay, don't. I am. Ow. Mimic minnow, classic. Decent white bass. I can in the background. Nothing gets better. Kerplunk. Cast in the same exact spot. See? Oh, is it up there? Yeah. Oh, I feel you. Oh, I got whacked again. They're up there, dude. Oh, no. Are they just stacked like on the Well, I get hit like three times. Like, that's a decent one, dude. Oh. We're catching some keggers. Dude, they hit it every time, but they're so small. Oh, God, I almost fell. Got the jig tied on, boys. We're just going to sling around. Uh, green pumpkin jig, I believe. It's got a little watermelon in it. And then we got the Guggen Crack and Crawl on, obviously. Just going to cast her in there. See if we can't get bit by any smallmouth or walleye or whatever's in there. Because I know, surprisingly, believe it or not, um, walleyes do bite the jigs every once in a while. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like that. Add another, like, five miles per hour to this. This is a white bass. <laughs> another five miles per hour to this? We'd be in the water. <laughs> I think I'm getting more fish, but you know. I'll have to double check that last Oh god, that one stopped it. Snapped me off. Oh, at the very tip though. What's the question mark? Oh, that's why I did freaking win not. Alrighty guys, um well Akin and I decided to take a little break from fishing. Kind of fish our butts off there for about a solid hour or so. And, and uh, ooh, there's a fish. We decided to take a little break. We're just J chill in the middle of the lake right now. We're just drifting with the wind. And uh it is ooh, it is snack time. We got the barbecue corn nuts, the Gatorade, and I got little trolley eggs up there. I can got sun chips and water and he's healthy, but I'm Trust not. Me. Troll with the milk minnow, I guess. See how that goes. Um yeah, no, we don't really know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna sit out here chill with the, the core nuts kind of talk about what we're gonna do Oof. i'll keep you guys posted and uh let you, know, let, let, let you guys know what we do with our lives here while we think about it and uh we might go back to the inlet we might go to the outlet we might go to the bridge we might go hit some rock piles i don't know what we're gonna do and uh, i'll catch you guys later dude it's decent whatever it is Ooh, a little walter Okay, boys, so uh, I decided to drop down a worm on this just plain jig head here, and within about two minutes of jigging, got a little Walter. What the heck? Oh my god. And we're just out here enjoying some lunch or dinner, I mean. And uh, where's those worms at? Putting on the worm a few times. And buddy, absolutely could chowder. I was not expecting that. That happened within like the first two minutes. We're in 20 feet of water. Um, I don't know how deep I was with that. I'm just letting a crap ton of line out. We're moving to a new spot, and I saw this floating in the water. I was like, what the buns is that? Looks like a piece of trash. This is a little kid floaty tube. I don't know. Looks like Aachen could fit in it, but whatever. <laughs> um, we're just going to clean it up, clean up the water, and uh, pick it up. We don't want trash floating around in here. So that's our good deed for the day. Um, there'll be many more to come, hopefully. But yeah, um, if you guys see any trash floating around the water, make sure you pick it up and don't litter the water because nobody wants to see that. So uh, we'll jet over to this next spot and I'll see you guys there. That's not good. You have a cabin here? Okay. Uh, and I'm not sure uh, <laughs> how this would work. Yeah. It no. just totally died. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah. Is there anyone over there that could get you or do you want to we could try and pull you? I mean we want to go very fast, but you think you could try? I think we could try. Yeah, definitely. Can I put 
Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm paddling. I'm almost to shore now. Yeah. Wow. That would not have been. Whew. Uh, let's see, I got two types of rope. I think the white one would work best. All right. This thing's the most reliable thing in the world, and I just can't believe it. Failed uh, on you, huh? I think the battery might have went dead or something. Oh wow. Okay. But I'm not sure how good it is. It's like a hundred feet, but should be good enough. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or this red one. <laughs> Looks a little I mean I can just hold on to it. Yeah. I mean that'll hurt your wrist pretty bad. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tie it right onto the, on this, yeah. Yeah. this white one. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Already ever tied it on already? Yeah, it's tied on the front. Okay, good deal. I always keep ropes tied for like anchoring and stuff. Yeah, uh, it's smart. I would think, I hope. <laughs> I don't know what kind of knot to tie, dude. I mean, you would think, yeah. <laughs> you guys, what are you fishing for here? Uh, we've been fishing for a lot of walleye and smallmouth, and there's just about anything in here, really. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is, I like it. It does the job, they get things done. I'm sure. Oh yeah, I mean, it's you this. Just, you probably just made your way over there from here. No, I wasn't too far though. Yeah, no. I mean, I don't know how fast we'll be able to go, but. Yeah, I don't know. We'll get there sometime. This is a really old road. <laughs> so do we not want to test your limits, you think, or? What? Probably we... not. Let's no. Oh, you're probably okay. Um, it's actually a clothesline. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing they're pretty strong, right? They hold a lot of clothes. <laughs> oh. Pretty good. Oh yeah. I think we got this. Oh yeah, I think we do too. Piece of cake, eh? Nine. Oh wow. How old is that thing? It's a 95. Okay. Might as well make it real. It's be the charging system or something. Nothing, yeah. All right. That's interesting. Should we see if we can go any faster? Oh. You want to? We can like give you like a little. Oh, I mean, we awesome. could probably just wrap you up onto the beach or you veer off in time. Alright. Uh, I think we should be good. I'm, for the I'm boat. failing at. You want to phone us? I'm failing at.
don't know if you just want to paddle yourself or. Yeah. All right. Here. Oh no, it, it's fine. It's no, good. No, no, take it. Take it back. No, no. Come on, come on. You got it. It's no, it's fine. You just have a good night. No, you can take it back. No. Are you sure? Yeah. It's not like. Thanks. You're welcome, but. No, thank you. Have a good Stay yeah. safe. See ya. I was not meant to go away over there. <clears throat> but okay. Um, boys, uh, we just saved the guy on a jet ski. He got stranded out there. I don't know why, but his uh, jet ski got st stopped working out in the middle of the lake. And uh, we're actually going to go fish at a different spot. And he waved his paddle in the air. And I mean, that means someone needs help. So we went over there, see what he needed. And uh, his jet ski wouldn't start. So uh, luckily, he had some rope. It was actually, it wasn't even a rope, really. It was a freaking uh, clothesline that he had in his thing. So we just tied her up to the boat and we went a slow, we went very slow, I'd say. We were going like, what, five miles per hour at the most? We finally got him to the boat ramp where he needed to be and uh, he got there safely, which I mean, I'm more more than happy to save anyone or help anyone. I can see hooked up, a little white bass, but I mean, yeah, it's whatever. I mean, if I need help, I'd, I'll help a guy out any day. Uh, I mean, it took some time out of fishing, but that's fine. I'd rather help that guy out. So basically, I'll show you guys on the map here. We started down here, and yes, we were fishing Lake Fawcett. It's for you guys out there. So we were fishing right here, and then we started, we went all the way up here, and this is where we saw the guy stranded. So we got to this guy over here, we got to him, and then we towed him all the way over here. And that's a pretty far distance, guys, going five miles per hour. So, I mean... It's whatever, it took a while, but you know what? Help a guy out, we'll help a guy out, you know. Not a big deal, but anyway, we made it back to the first spot that we were fishing at earlier, and uh, see if we can't catch any walleye or white bass or kind of anything that lurks in here, really. It was just a weird time where the white bass start biting, or stop biting, and the white walleyes will start biting in like 10 minutes. There we go. White. It's a little guy. Criminy. Little white bass for the boys. Cheers. Drop shot time. Uh... Why do you keep snagging him, dude? Like... Is he sideways on too? Give me a lot of head shakes. It's gotta be a wall here though, right? Are you keeping or no? I'm not gonna keep any myself, but. You, you good? Alright, boys, a little Walter. Not bad, we'll get back in the water. How's it going, guys? Um, I know you guys haven't seen me. Since yesterday, I know it might seem a little weird. I'm outside fishing right now and it's sunny out. And uh, so basically yesterday, it got really buggy. The bugs were awful out there. And uh, the lighting wasn't the greatest, obviously. So I said, you know what, I'll just make the outro out here tomorrow. And I am currently fishing. Um, see if we're gonna catch some crappies. But I mean, I'm just ch checking the spot out. I haven't been out here all year, so I don't know what to expect. But anyway, uh, I just want to say yesterday didn't go as planned. I mean, obviously you guys saw us save that guy on the jet ski. So that was cool. I was more than willing to help him out and uh, give him a ride back to the boat launch. Other than that, the fishing was kind of buns. It's all right. We caught a few white bass and a few walleyes, but nothing, nothing amazing. I just want to say thank you for watching today's vid. Make sure you guys hit this video up with a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.